Again, here we are back at the Miracle House of Prayer, worshiping and praising the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we uh, celebrated his birth on yesterday, but what we want to do, we want to celebrate his birth every day. Hallelujah. Glory to God, because we want to recognize who he is, what he did for mankind, for the entire world. Glory to God. So we welcome you to the Miracle House of Prayer, 604 East 38th Street, Houston, Texas, 77022. Amen. That's our location. And this day after Christmas, all we are yet celebrating our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome uh, you, uh, our Facebook Live audience. Uh, we welcome you this morning. We thank God, amen, for your support. We give God the glory. We give God the praise. Uh, for he is worthy to be praised. I'll say that again. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Our Lord is worthy to be praised. Glory to God. So amen at this time, receive our pastor, Pastor Lois Jean Cole. Good morning, thank you, Bishop uh, Coleman. Good morning, uh, all the people of God, our missionaries, ministers. We bless the Lord for being here in the house of the Lord. This is the Miracle House of Prayer. Our bishop is Bishop Lorenzo Coleman, Sr. And you can write our bishop at P.O. Box 681-973. Feel free to call him at one 800 870 3414 and that's Houston, Texas 77268 We welcome our Facebook audience on this morning Thank you for keeping us encouraged in the Lord and we bless the Lord We bless the Lord This is such a special day, praise the Lord We had a beautiful uh, Christmas and we just thank God that we're here in our right mind we have health and strength. We, yeah. we wanted to come into the house of the Lord. Yeah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go yeah. into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Our scripture this morning, we're going to read Psalms 116. We're going to read verses 12 through 14. What shall I render unto the Lord? For all his benefits towards me. Yes. I will take the cup of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Yes. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all these people. Yes. I bless the Lord. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. To ask within yourself, what shall I render uh -huh. unto yes. the Lord? Yes. I will take the cup of salvation. Yes, yes. That's a beautiful thing to take yes. the cup yes. of salvation. Yes. Oh Lord, as a birthday gift unto our Lord and Savior. Yes. Because when the wise men heard of Jesus, they came yes. to present unto him gifts. Yes. Hallelujah. What shall we render this morning? Yes. yes. I will take the cup of salvation. Yes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you on this morning. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy that lasts forever. Thank you for all that you have done for us, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless the Lord. We come to offer you worship. We come to praise you yes, on Lord. this morning, oh yes, God. Lord. We come to render our souls oh, unto God. you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We come to say that we're so thankful on this Thank morning. Each and every one, they look Thank around you. the room, Thank even you. in their homes. 
and they thank God for the gift of their family. Yes, Lord. We bless the Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, you style the family as the church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being our friend. Yes, Lord. Thank you for leading and guiding us. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We praise you this morning. God's people say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to turn the service into the hands of our bishop. And we praise the Lord this morning for our bishop, the, the bishop, Lorenzo Coleman Sr. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Praise Amen. Amen. Pastor Lord Sheen Coleman. It's just an awesome privilege to be back in the house of God. Glory. One more time. One more time. Hallelujah. I remember, Glory. amen, our late pastor, W.L. Jesus, used to sing that song. One more time. One more time. He has allowed us to come together one more time. Glory to God. And we're not going to take it for granted. We're going to worship and praise and thank him for his goodness and for his mercy and for all of that that he's doing for his people and not only his people, for the world. Amen. The world is being blessed but just don't realize, amen, that it's the Lord's doing. It's his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. And we are so grateful. We had such a wonderful celebration uh, on yesterday uh, with family. Amen. And it's been some time we don't get together with family like we used to. But yesterday was one of those days that uh, since they were vaccinated and since they went and got tests, amen, uh, then we say, well, uh, put your mask on and come on. Amen. And you know, we are to protect each other Glory to God. This is the time that we're in now with all of this uh, Amicron crime that's going on. Amen. And all of these uh, variants. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, who wouldn't want to just put on a mask? Amen. To protect each other. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. Uh, that's how, just how good the Lord is. Yeah. Amen. He wants us to be watchful and prayerful. Glory to God. Uh, we just honor our Lord and Savior today and certainly we uh, appreciate our Facebook uh, audience uh, that supports us Sunday after Sunday. Amen. We are grateful, amen, for the goodness of the Lord and the support, amen, of all of those that supports the Miracle House of Prayer. Glory to God. Uh, because we are a part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And we love him. And we praise him. Because he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, and this morning we are honored. Amen. To uh, have one of our members. Amen. To uh, testify. Glory to God. Amen. And to give God the glory. Because you know we need to tell uh, of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And when he works a miracle, because he works miracles every day, but something about uh, people, they're somewhat skeptical about sharing the miracle working power of Jesus. Hallelujah. But he is a miracle worker. And coming uh, before you now is one of our longtime members Amen. Of the Miracle House of Prayer. Glory to God for uh, uh, over 50 years. Amen. She's been uh, with us and she's going to give us a miracle testimony this morning. Amen. Missionary Hattie Bree. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, I just give honor to God and to my bishop and my pastor. 
and all of the saints of God. I do thank and praise God for my being here on today. Hallelujah. It was I was out of church for four years. And the Lord blessed me to come in. And when I first got out, I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything. But you know, the Lord has performed a miracle for me on this day, along with many other miracles that he has performed for me. Praise God. The enemy thought I wouldn't make it, but God said not so. Not he so. gave me another new life, oh, another yeah. chance to live yeah. for him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to do all that I can do to live for him. And I praise him on today because I I, uh, I walked into the church. Yeah. I couldn't walk. I had the last uh, year when I came in, I mean, uh, when I came in the last time to the church, they had to take me out in an ambulance. But the Lord had a little shade. He, let, he gave me a Christmas present. How my Christmas present is yeah. I can walk again. Yeah. Yeah. But one of our deacons, he's not here right now. I mean, he won't be here, but he's not here. But Deacon Price, he called me and he told me. He said, sister, I see you walking. Oh, I see you walking back into the church. Yeah. Glory to God. Praise God, Missionary Janice Gordon. She called me. She said, I see you yeah. walking back into walking, the church. Walking. You know, I thank God for all of the help, all of the, the prayer, how my past ambitions, how they were right there by my side in every way. For my friends, it's the price, glory to God. I just glorify God. I just can't thank him enough because I was on the ventilator two times. Oh, and I wasn't supposed to make it. Oh, but I stand here to give God the glory. Oh, I stand man. here to give him the glory. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. And heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what an awesome, mighty testimony. Yeah. Amen. The yeah. woman of God was able to be the church for four years. Four years. And see, sometimes people take for granted that we can come to church. Oh, but that's not to be taken for granted. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And she walked in this church today. Hallelujah. She walked in this church today. My God. What a mighty God. Somebody said that the Lord is not working miracles no more. Well, I must invite you to come to the Miracle House of Prayer and watch miracles being wrought. Now, it don't mean that he's not working miracles nowhere else, but there's somebody that just don't believe it. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. And you know, this is awesome because our message today is believe and receive. Believe and receive. Hallelujah. If you want a miracle, Jesus is yet in the miracle working business. So, if you believe, you can receive. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I know we all a little just just a little bit uh heavier today. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It was good It was good. It was good. But every one of us took one or two bites or something that we could have done without. Hello. 
Now, I'm really being nice. Now, y'all know that, huh? Yes, amen. amen. Because I imagine uh, there was some that took a few more than one or two bites. But nevertheless, because it got good, we just kept on and on. Hallelujah. Amen. But today, seriously, we want to talk to you about believing. Believe and receive. Yes. Yes. We are living in a day and time when the faith of God in the church needs an overhaul. What do you mean, Bishop? We, as a whole, don't really believe like we should. And as a matter of fact, like we used to. Glory to God. But I guarantee you that if you believe on the Lord, as the scripture has said, then out of your bellies will flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Believe. Believe. Believe uh, means the same thing as faith. Because you have to have faith in order to believe. And believing is that you believe that something is going to happen when it doesn't really look like it's going to happen. Faith. Hallelujah. I believe that I'm going to receive. Even though I don't see it, Looking in the natural, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Doesn't seem like it's supposed to happen. But because I believe in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because I believe the Word of God, I shall receive. There is nothing but nothing that's too hard for God. Hallelujah. That is nothing. Nothing. I know there are some situations that we have been dealing with for years. And it looks like that that situation is only growing worse. Oh, but this is the time that we realize who we serve. That we realize that it's not in us. We are not the ones uh, that's going to work miracles. If we work miracles, it's going to be Jesus through us. Yes, right. And to God be the glory. Yes. He gets the credit. Yes. Hallelujah. Believe and receive. Glory to God. I'm so grateful that you know I I look at certain uh, things that happens and certain things that uh, were invented, certain inventions. And do you know every invention, in other words, is something that was invented, mean it had not happened before. Whatever it may be, you, you can go back to, to automobiles. Do you know one day that there were no such thing as automobiles? Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Yes, yes. Amen. I, I know it's hard to believe in, in, in the hour that we're in now when we look around and, and, and see automobiles that's driving themselves. Yes. Automobiles that's parking themselves. Yes, yes. Automobiles that's running without motors. My God. And, 
and to see all of the technology that has come forward, that means somebody had to believe that it was possible for a car to operate without a motor. So they invented, invented this huge size battery. And it's electric. Don't you know that we used to ride in horses and buggies? And everybody couldn't afford an automobile. Once they invented the automobile, Everybody couldn't afford the automobile. Right. Especially we that build the on the rough roads of Shangleville. Hello, somebody. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. But because Ford, along with the other automakers, believed that this could happen. That they would take some metal, put four wheels on it, and before they had transmissions, before they had motors, they had crates. See now, 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 I'm, 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 I'm losing some of y'all. I said, I said, I said you all, you all not no, no more close to my age, I can tell that. <laughs> Hallelujah. But what I'm saying is someone had to believe that the automobile could be created, it could be invented, or else, who knows? We might still be Driving a horse in the buggy. I can say one thing the horse in the buggy is a whole lot cheaper. <laughs> Glory to God. Believe and receive. Oh, this is a time that the church must go back to believe. Yes. Believe. That the Lord Jesus died for the sins of all mankind. Believe that the Lord Jesus arose on the third day with all power of heaven and earth in his hand. Believe and receive. So that is a natural side to our life, but also that is a spiritual side to our life. Now, now, uh, amen, we could, uh, we, we, we could go to heaven uh, driving a horse and a buggy. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. As a matter of fact, uh, with the horse and the buggy, we might get there a little quicker. Hello? Amen. Because the automobiles now, they almost drive themselves. You get behind there and it, 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 they want to tell you what to do. Come on. See, see, see where uh, uh, the, the, these uh, uh, inventions have brought us glory to God. But it was because somebody believed that, that it was possible. Yeah. Well, what about us? What about the people of God? The word of God says, with God, all things are possible. Yeah. Glory to God. So, everything that we Need we can receive. Why? Because it says it in the word of God. Believe. Believe. And receive. Glory to God. I don't know. I, I might look into uh, Amen. Start me a hashtag after the day. I might Amen. I go, uh, amen, uh, and sign up for uh, hashtag believe and receive. Lord. Hello. Yes. Now, it would be something new because I don't know 
Anybody else out there that's already uh, did it, amen, uh, ain't no telling where hashtag believe and receive might take this year. Hello? Glory to God. Might open doors that no man can shut. Hallelujah. Hashtag believe and receive. Glory to God. I said I was going to uh, give this message a, message a topic of believe and receive. But well, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to add hashtag to it today. Right. Amen. Right. What do you say? Amen. We modernize, amen, uh, uh, some of these messages to get through, uh, amen, to some people that might not listen to believe and receive. But if you say hashtag, believe and receive, they just might look into it to see what it's all about. Hallelujah. Believe and receive. Let's look into the word of God for uh, a man a while here. In the book of St. Mark, the ninth chapter and the 23rd verse, Mark 9 and 23, says, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. There you go right there. In case there was somebody that said, well, now you know a, 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 a bishop 77 now, he don't know what he's talking about. Well, I know one thing. I'm 77, but I know how to read. Come on. I know how to understand the word of God. Hallelujah. I know no, nobody's saying that. Amen. I need that so somebody could laugh. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, uh, amen, uh, referring uh, to uh, one of the multitude uh, that came unto him and that was in the crowd. Uh, uh, amen. And, and the Bible didn't even give the name of this particular man. It just says, uh, uh, amen, uh, 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 if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. So this multitude of this person, man, in that multitude had uh, he, he had a, a son that uh, a man uh, was filled with, uh, with dem divination. In other words, he's a demonic son filled with all type of spirits. Glory to God. So this is why Jesus said unto him, he was talking to somebody. And he said to uh, the father of this uh, uh, demonic son, if thou canst believe, hear his son was acting like the devil and wanted to uh, scratch himself, cut himself, and uh, and, and, and with uh, a, 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 a panic uh, sounds, in other words, hollering and screaming, glory to God. And the disciples uh, could not catch that demon out. Hallelujah. But Jesus spoke. And when Jesus spoke, he told the Father, said, all things are possible if thou would believe. All saints of God, don't you know that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever? We're coming up against some situations that we have to believe yes, yes. that he's the same yesterday, yes. today, yes. and forever. Yes. Glory to God. Let's believe and receive. Don't doubt. Because doubt is the opposite of belief. Doubt is the opposite of faith. Yes. And think not that that man that, that have not faith can receive anything from the Lord. Yes. 
Glory to God. So, amen, we want to, uh, amen, press past what our current eyes can see. And we want to believe, we want to walk in the spirit, and we want to believe that we may receive. There are some natural things as well as spiritual things yeah. that we need to believe to receive. Yeah. The word of God says what? Seek ye first yeah. the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. Yeah. Oh, that's something about the word. Hallelujah. If we just with believing yeah. and receiving. Amen. We can be some walking powerhouses. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Talking about uh, amen. living epistles. Yeah. Yeah. Read yeah. and known of men. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Why? Because Jesus, the righteous one, yeah. hallelujah, had all power in his hand. Oh, glory to God. Believe and receive. Yes. That's somebody that's been believing for that million dollars yes. for how long, man? Oh, I see we got so many rich folks in here. Nobody want to be a millionaire, huh? Oh, oh, somebody said waiting. But well, I want you to know you're not waiting by yourself. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting too. Glory to God. Amen. Because why? God can do it. Yes. If we just believe and receive. Glory to God. And watch God work. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody come on. Give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Be worthy yes. to be praised. Yes. Look at uh, in the book of Psalms and uh, the 37th uh, division in the book of Psalms uh, and the third verse and uh, uh, David, uh, amen, quoted these words uh, when David said, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Oh, you see, the word carries positivity with it. Every word of God is positive. Hallelujah. There is nothing negative in the word of God. So we're going to believe and because we believe, because we have faith, because we are walking in the faith of God, we're going to receive because we are born again Christians and we are walking in the power of God. We are walking in the faith of God. And David said, trust in the Lord. You see, believing is trusted in the Lord. That's, that, that's too many people that's believing in other things, in other stuff. Yeah. Trying to substitute the Lord uh, in their lives. But I want you to know today it will never work. There is nothing that can take the place of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So that's why we have to trust in him. Believe and receive. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Not in your paycheck. You know, the paychecks are so short until you, you, you think you got the deal covered. Until you put it on paper. Hello. And then you'll see, well, wait a minute now. I, 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 I guess I better pray about this thing here because I'm, 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 I'm about $2,000 short of my bill, buddy. 
Hello. Oh, but if you trust in the Lord. And do good. And do good. Believe that you can do good. Believe and receive. So shalt thou dwell in the land. Hallelujah. In other words, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll dwell. In other words, we'll, get, we'll receive the thing that, uh, that we're asking for. And we'll dwell there. And we'll build on it. Hallelujah. And we'll build up enough that we can even help somebody else. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, amen, this is the hour of the overflow, saints of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes, it is. This is the hour of the overflow. Yes. We ought to, amen, uh, have enough yes. to take care of home and then be able to bless somebody yes. that we know that's struggling. Yes. Oh, you don't have to know that they're struggling. Just hear the voice of the Lord. Yes. Yes. And when you pass by them, Glory to God. Just say the Lord told me to do this. Yeah, yeah. That's the Lord. That's it so. The Lord spoke to me. I believe. And because I believe. He has blessed me. In abundance. Uh, and I receive. Not that I can build up my own barns. But that I can uh, be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Yes. Believe. And receive. And verily, thou shalt be fed. You see, give, and it shall be given unto you. Yes. You're going to be fed. Yes. You can't be God given. Yes. I cannot be God given. No matter how I try, there's nobody, nobody, nowhere. Can outgive God. Hallelujah. I've, I've given and I've given and I've given. And he always boomerang and returning yes. back again. Hallelujah. Fill up my cup until it runs over. So he can help somebody else. Yeah. Believe and receive. Yeah. Glory to God. Moving on a little bit further. Let's move to the book of Mark. The 11th chapter and the 24th verse. And the word of God says, Therefore I say unto you, What thing soever you desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Belief is a great part of the Christian's life. Yes. Yes. Believe. Now, when you come into the presence of the saints, the people of God, and they always have a, a downtrodden spirit, a negative spirit. What are you going to receive from them? Negativity. Negativity. That's the word I was looking for. If that's all they got to offer is negativity, you cannot uh, get positivity out of negativity. You cannot do it. Oh, but the saints of God, the people of God, those that uh, are called out, uh, called out, born again believers, glory to God. We are positive people. Or we should be. We must believe in order to receive if we would think about it, Jesus owns everything. He just loans us some things. But he owns everything. Yes. 
that car that you're driving, you might be paying the note, but Jesus, Jesus owned it. That car lot, Jesus owned it. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Believe. Believe. Yes. And receive. Yes. Hashtag. Believe. And receive. And Luke 17 and 6. Reading the word of God. And the Lord said. If ye had had faith. As a grain of mustard seed. Ye might say unto the sycamore tree. Be thou plucked up. By the root. Yeah. And be thou planted in the sea. And it shall obey you. Look at that. Now, now you got to you you got to believe, and you got to believe that you have the power, the anointing living within your life. Hallelujah! If we're gonna, Amen, speak to the sycamore tree, and it's gonna be plucked up by the root. By you speaking? Yes, Lord. Oh, that's foul. Yes. But you got to believe. Yes. Now, again, if we're going to go around with the negative spirit and say, well, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know if this will happen or not. Leave it up. Because that's doubt. If you don't believe it's going to happen, just go on and, uh, hey amen, cook you a lemon pie or something. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever kind of pie you want to, because it's not going to accomplish anything if you're going to speak something that don't believe that's going to happen. That's doubt. But if you believe, you will receive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I know it's right. I know it's right. Hashtag believe and receive. But listen at what John 1 and 12 says. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on God. His name. Believe in, in Jesus Christ yes. makes a difference in our life. Yes. Oh, yes, it does. We can't receive anything of Him except that we believe that He is, yes. that He is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Believe and receive. But as many as received him, as received him, don't, 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 don't just receive him with the mouth and say that I received him. But receive him in your heart. Receive him in your spirit. Know that you walk with him daily and that uh, anything that you ask of him it shall be done uh, in his name yes. believe and receive oh glory to God hallelujah somebody drop a pen for me would you <laughs> oh alright ok well then give me a hand clap I mean. alright hallelujah thank you Thank you. Amen. And let me know that that turkey and ham and barbecue from yesterday still don't have you way down. Hallelujah. John 6 and 35 says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Oh, we used to say, oh, hymns, 
like walk with me. Walk with me. While I'm on this teaser journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. Hallelujah. Oh, and believe me, he will do just that. Because he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Yes. Never. 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 My God, my Never. God, my God. Would, would, wouldn't that be something? When I, all, all these folks just get married, wouldn't it be something if they met their vows? Yes. Yeah, some, some do, some do. But when they mean those vows, Things may come, but they won't leave that woman. Yes, yes. Things may come, but they won't walk away from that good man. Come on. Amen. Yes. So, so, but there are some, don't care how good you are to them, they still walk away. Yes. Because they, 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 they see somebody a little bit taller than you. <laughs> somebody will few pounds less than you. Yeah. Come on. All kind of stuff is going on in this society. Oh, 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 oh. But Jesus. Jesus. I'll tell all for myself. He has never left me. My God. And I know he's never left me. And since I've been saved, I have gained 100 pounds. Years, I, I gained 100 pounds. And he's never left me. He's never left me. Never. And even gaining 100 pounds, he still kept me healthy. Hello. Lord will check out. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to say what? That, that he's an ever loving God. He's a Everlasting God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Glory to God. Amen. There's some, there's some of these sisters, you, you be young and good looking, you know, and come on, you know, the head full of hair. Then when you get bald headed, they still want that head to be full of hair. Yeah. Oh, come on. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Yeah. What you talking about? And they, they, they ain't real rooted and grounded in the Lord. You talking about they'll slip off and get somebody else and leave you standing with your bald head said. <laughs> Come on. But the Lord <laughs> woo, will never leave you off a second. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what. Hallelujah. Believe and receive. Oh, hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm hashtagging today. Hashtag. Believe and receive. Oh, glory to God. Listen, amen, what, what Romans 1 and 16, Paul says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So what Paul is saying there, now he said to the Jew first because salvation was offered to the Jews before anyone. And he says also to the Greek. The Greek is representing all Gentiles. Hallelujah. So amen. Uh, we can believe because this gospel uh, uh, amen. Uh, it is appointed to all mankind. Hallelujah. Oh yes it is. Uh, because what did Jesus say? I am uh, John 12 and 46. I am come a light into the world. That whosoever believeth on me uh, should not abide in darkness. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. We can believe and receive. And most definitely, we are living in the hour that we want to share 
that that we receive, amen, with someone else. It's all right, amen, to share your salvation because it's the salvation of the Lord that's upon you. Let's share it with somebody. Let's help them come into a position of where they can believe and receive. Glory to God. And also, with the natural, it's all right. Amen. Uh, that when you are, are walking in abundance, you can share it with someone. It can be a, a drunkard that needs a meal. You don't know. That might be the thing that he prayed for or that she prayed for. And there could be a backsliding professor, a black backsliding preacher that fell on hard times and now that's living under the bridge and then standing on the street corner for a hand-me-out. You never know. But if you hear the voice of the Lord and reach out and help them, you never know just what the Lord might do for that soul. Yes, yes. Glory to God. So we want to believe yes. and we want to receive. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Amen. I remember the days amen that I have to admit that I wasn't ashamed, but I was a little embarrassed. Amen. Because he, I was a brother in the church, and, and I was asked to help receive the offering, and I had to walk up and stand before the congregation with one dollar in my pocket. Now, unless the Lord came on the spot and gave me an on-spot miracle, that's all I could give was a dollar. Right. But I know one thing. Yeah. I did just that. I got up there, amen, with that one dollar. One dollar. And at the time, I wasn't married, so I couldn't, I had no wife ass for nothing. Hello. <laughs> okay. And the big preacher, I mean the big time preacher, that used to be right here in Houston, the big time preacher, he must have saw me put that dollar <laughs> in the kitty. And he said, well, if you don't you know, uh, come up here and ask people for money, you ought to be giving some money yourself. No, I mean, I, I gave a dollar, and I didn't have another dollar. But you know, I'm grateful that the Lord brought me up to where I did everything that I did as unto the Lord. Yeah, right. And because I gave that dollar my last, the Lord just began to bless me and bless me over and over and over again. Yeah, and as the time went by, yeah, yeah. because I believed that if I would serve him with, and give him my best, then he would bless me because it's in his word. Yes. And I have to receive his word. I have to obey his word. Yes. Glory to yes. God. And amen. And down through the years, as you well know, amen, right here at the Miracle House of Prayer, amen, this, this, this is where I, I built, built up and Amen. And it started coming in. Hallelujah. Amen. That wife came in. Glory to God. Amen. Making good money. Amen. Working for the same railroad that I was working for. Come on. We mashed that money together. Hello, somebody. But I didn't give up on God. 
I continue to believe yeah, yeah. that if I gave him my little, that he would increase it. Yeah. Glory to God. Your much. Yeah. In the hands of the Lord. Yeah. Thank you for helping me out there. Yeah. For living as much yeah. in the hands of the Lord. Yeah. So, listen. No matter what you have, be thankful. Yeah. Yeah. And use it yeah. for the glory of God. I know the time that we, amen, had our uh, uh, choo choos and, uh, amen, our uh, gas mobiles and uh, riding on three and a half tires and, amen. But what we did, we used it for the glory of God. We drove across town on fumes. To pick up the saints of God to bring them to church. And the Lord always made a way. Somebody always put some gas in that tank so we can make it back home. Why? Because this is a sacrificial way. Hallelujah. This is a, a sacrificial way. Believe me. And receive. Yeah. I remember we started the church down in Arcola. We had gas to make it down there. And that's 40 miles one way. We got gas to make it down there. But we went on the faith of God to make it back. If we knew that God had anointed that church and He had put us as head. We didn't have any other choice except to obey him because we surely were not going to disobey him. But every time we made that trip down there, it was somebody said, well, uh, take my car and uh, put some gas in your car and just bring it back when we come back to church. Now, you know, uh, I don't know if we still live that day uh, time or not now, but they did and then. Why? Because we were so loud. Come on. We were, I mean, totally so loud that I'm going to obey the Lord. Yes. Yes. And he's ordained this for us. Yes. And bless the Lord, our children never, ne ne never knew where our gas tank was. They, they, they never knew we was going on fumes because Amen. Me and Pastor, we use wisdom. We 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 we, we discuss it amongst ourselves, but not out with the children in here. Why? Because yeah. Amen. We wanted to see them. We wanted them to see Jesus, yeah. and not our problems. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. I'm so glad yeah. that we can now believe and receive. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Now, precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for each and every one of our members of the Miracle House of Prayer. We pray their God speak today. We pray their strength today. We pray healing upon. We pray health and wealth upon every member. In the mighty name of Jesus. Especially Minister Marlon Wortham on today. Oh God, touch his body right now. Touch him right now, Jesus. Lift him up. Touch and heal him. In the name of Jesus. Break him out with the victory. Touch Brother Bernard. Break him out with the victory. Any other sick about you, touch them and bring them out with the victory. Now, if you have been listening to us today and you have not really been believing and that's why you're not able to receive, why don't you just come to the throne of grace today and say with me, Lord, 
from this day forth, I shall believe the word of God that I may receive victory in my life through the word of God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And let the people of God say, say amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord today. Thank you. Amen. For your attendance. Thank you, Facebook Alive. Amen. For uh, supporting us. I'd like to say to the Facebook audience, uh, we would love for you to be a blessing to this ministry and uh, send, uh, amen, uh, your donation to hashtag uh, dollar sign. There you go with hashtag. That's part of my message. Dollar sign. M-H-P-T-C. And we will certainly thank you for your liberality. In Jesus' name. So until next Sunday at 11 a.m. at the Miracle House of Prayer, this is Bishop and Pastor Coleman saying to you, uh, we are marching to greater in Jesus' mighty name.